Hi everybody, welcome to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Amy and I am the creator of littlespoonfarm.com. It's a sourdough baking and comfort food blog. If you've been around a while, you will notice that we are in a brand new kitchen. Now this is actually my home kitchen. Um, we had originally started filming uh, in a trailer that we had lived in while we were, you know, building our house. And then I kind of transi transitioned into a studio kitchen because we didn't really have that much space. But now that we are in our new house and we're, you know, established, I am going to go ahead and start filming everything here, which will be so much nicer because it will allow me to kind of get more content, more videos out, just make it a lot easier. So anyway, today we are going to make sourdough pumpkin waffles. And um, I've got all the ingredients laid out here, so let me kind of show you what we're gonna use. The ingredients that we're gonna be using today are a canned pumpkin, that is about a half of a can. There, uh, butter, you can use regular butter, plant-based butter, a sourdough starter, milk, you can use regular milk or plant-based milk. We have some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. This is pumpkin pie spice, but you can use cinnamon. Actually, I do like to use just cinnamon a lot of the times. Uh, granulated sugar, vanilla, and flour. I have these all measured out. I had done this so that I could take pictures of everything for the blog post. So I will have, like I said, a recipe post a link to it where you can get all the measurements and everything and uh, you know all the information that you need so basically we're just gonna take all of these ingredients and we're gonna put it in this bowl and um, I want to note let me get my spatula real quick that um, I decided to make this recipe um, with out using eggs and the reason is because a lot of people don't feel comfortable leaving eggs out to ferment so I just adjusted some of the ingredients so that you can get a nice fluffy waffle without using eggs and the pumpkin puree is really going to give it a lot of uh, the moisture that the fat from the egg would have given this batter so it should be you know really good to go so I'm just gonna take everything and put it in this batter bowl and give it a really good stir. I've already put the milk in, and now I'm gonna add the sourdough starter. And I've got some melted butter here. Actually, it got a little hardened up, but it should be fine. Go ahead and put that in. This is really, really super easy to put together. I'm actually, I'm putting all of the um, wet ingredients in first, giving them a good mix before we do the dry ingredients. It's typically how I like to mix my ingredients. And then that's the vanilla extract. So I'm actually gonna switch over to a whisk in just a second but I need something to rest that on. So, just stirring this batter up until it gets really nice and smooth. I can already smell like oh, the pumpkin and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sugar in here as well. I can smell that pumpkin um, smell. It just, it smells so good. All right, so let me put that aside. Now in this bowl, I have my flour and I'm just gonna sprinkle the, the pumpkin pie spice. And then this is the um, baking powder and soda and salt. And I'm just gonna use a little whisk to kind of get this pulled together and incorporated. So that way it mixes a little bit more evenly in the drying or the wet ingredients. All right. So I'm going to pour this right into the bowl. And 
just give this a really good stir. Now, I'm gonna switch over to my whisk because I'm gonna try to get out some of these lumps. You don't have to get them all out, but I'm just gonna give it a nice little stir with the whisk. You can see it's very, very thick. So we're just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get the waffle maker set up. Okay, this is a brand new waffle machine for me. Um, I've got it pretty hot. I'm going to just kind of give it a super light spray with this avocado oil. And you wanna listen to or read your um, manufacturer instructions. Mine says to put um, three quarters of batter to a cup of batter in the center of it then close the lid and turn it. And then mine's gonna be ready when this light goes off. So I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay, my little light just went off. So let's see how it did. Oh, wow. Well, look at that, that looks really good. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep on going until I have all of these done. And I'm not gonna spray this every single time that I add batter. It's gonna help kind of spread that around a little bit. This one's ready. Now, what you wanna do is whenever you are cooking your waffles, if you don't already have like your favorite setting, just see how crisp they are on the outside. Like right now, these that I made are just a little bit, I want them a little bit crispier. So I'm gonna adjust the, the heat setting on the waffle maker. And then these will get a little bit crispier on the outside, but you gotta be careful because honestly, I've almost ate the whole first one, it's so good. <laughs> you will really, really love this recipe. It just could not be easier. And this is one of those recipes that you can double it and one, uh, one cup of pumpkin puree is a little over half of a can. So if you wanted to double this recipe, just get, just use the whole can in a double recipe. There's no use in, in trying to add a little bit more. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. But these freeze so well. So I would definitely do a double batch if you can. If you don't wanna do a double batch and freeze some for later, you can always just take that, you know, what's left in that can and make something else with it, or, you know, put it in the freezer and use it for something else later if you don't have anything that you can make with it right away. But it uh, definitely won't go to waste. But yeah, so you just want to keep doing this until you have all the batter made. Also, you can actually use this for um, pancakes. So, you know, you would just use a griddle like you normally would for pancakes. You know, pour a quarter cup of the batter onto the griddle, wait for all the little bubbles to come up on the top and then flip it, you know, just like you would a normal pancake. So after I get all of these done, I'm gonna show you a really nice way to top your pumpkin sourdough waffles. I think I forgot to mention that this batter can be um, uh, cooked right away. So just let it sit while the, um, the griddle is getting preheated, preheated or your waffle iron. And then you can go ahead and, and cook it or you can actually let this batter ferment um, so you can get the full fermentation benefits out of it. So just know you have that option if you want. 
can put it, you can put the batter in the fridge, leave it out on the, the uh, counter for a, a few hours, you know, before you go to bed, and then transfer it to the fridge and let it ferment in there the rest of the night. Um, either way, if you, if you do let it ferment, I would leave out the baking soda and the baking powder because those are what are gonna help get that really nice fluffy waffle. And um, to, I would just add those right before you go to make it. Okay, so I'm trying to control myself. These are so good. I've eaten the first one that I made. I'm almost done with it. This makes five just normal size waffles. And this waffle maker, I just got it. It's like the Drew Barrymore brand at Walmart. It was the same price as every other one, but I really like the way it looks and it's super easy to use. And yeah, I love it. I actually prefer mine on the level six. I feel like that gave it a nice, you know, crisper outside and the inside is still chewy. So just in case you need a waffle maker, this is definitely one that I would recommend. Okay, so let's get to the toppings. Okay, I've got some butter. Um, <clears throat> it's, I had to put it in the microwave to melt it a little bit and soften it up, but preferably use room temperature. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Again, you could use, actually not a half teaspoon, about a quarter teaspoon. Um, you could use cinnamon and we're just gonna whip this. Okay, now, this is like liquid right now. What I'm gonna do, again, because I forgot to bring this to room temperature before I started and I put it in the microwave, now it's just all liquidy. I'm gonna go stick this in the fridge for a few minutes and it's gonna start to firm back up. And then when it does, we're gonna come back and whip it some more. All right, this has been in my freezer for several minutes to kind of firm back up. So now what I'm gonna do is just whip this until it's nice and fluffy and ready to go. What I would do is stop and taste it. Just give a little taste, make sure it doesn't need any more sugar or spice. Mm, oh my gosh. Oh, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. All right, that's perfect. Actually, I think I like the technique of letting it melt, getting all that sugar to dissolve and then chilling it to make it firm back up, that's perfect. So I'm going to transfer it to one of my little weck jars to put it in the fridge. Because this will keep in the fridge for quite some time. I'd say at least a couple of weeks. Okay. So let's plate one of these bad boys up. Okay, we've got our butter that we put a little bit of sugar and some pumpkin spice in and whipped it all up so it's nice and soft. We've got our amazing pumpkin sourdough waffles. So let's go ahead and let me get a knife. Could use a little cookie scoop to kind of make a little dollop right on the top like they do in restaurants. That would be kind of cute to serve it that way. But while these are hot, go ahead and put a little bit of this right on the top. Let it kind of melt all over the place. And you have your maple syrup. You could even warm up this maple syrup. 
and that would be really, really delicious. So there you have it. Go ahead, make these. I'm telling you, run, don't walk. Go click on the link and you'll have all the ingredients. And I promise you, these are so good. And oh, your family's gonna love them. So let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.